All right, so we're back. I'm going to I'm going to do some of the line work. Actually, I'm going to fix some of the line work because um, this looks a bit wonky. So what I'm going to do to make my life easier is I'm going to select the line layer and then I'm going to use liquify and sort of make his head I'll use the push option I'm just going to make his head a little less lumpy it's totally cheating but you got to use the tools that you have so if there's tools that'll make it easier use them Oh, it's a little better. Yeah, that looks better. All right, so. So I pretty much, I have, so this palette is the palette that I pretty much use to color this character. Um, so all my colors are here. It's good to like, you can always, Take your colors and just keep them on the screen as well. It's another good option. That way you can just select them when you need them. Uh, or you can just make a palette like I have here. So the first thing I usually do when I want to color it is I just use... Um, he's actually gray, but since the gray is kind of light and my background's beige, I'm just going to use this orange color just to fill him in. So pretty simple. I just, oops, important step. You wanna do it underneath, underneath the line layers, obviously. I don't color the eyes in. I leave the eyes because I'm gonna color in another layer behind them. I also don't color in the nose. That way I can do another color for the nose behind it. Also doing it this way when it comes to making the markings on the skin, they're easier because it's not crossing over into the area where the eye is or into the area where the nose is. I'm gonna probably speed this up.
so I've got the outline and he's basically colored all right so the next thing that I do is I change it to whatever color I want him to be and he is gray Oops. so he's gray And the next thing I'm going to do, um, let's see, how do I want to do this? Uh, I'll do it here. So the next thing I'll do is I go to the line, I go to the line work layer and I'm going to change it to a darker gray. So I'm just going to change all the lines to a darker gray. So I'm going to alpha lock the line layer and then I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to make all the lines gray. That way it just doesn't have that harsh black. I used to always make the lines, always keep the lines black, but I don't really like them. I don't really like them black. It kind of is a little it's a bit jarring. Unless I'm unless I'm doing something and I really want that style. It's kind of jarring, so I, I usually try to nowadays I try to color all the lines. Or just get rid of the lines altogether. Match the color with the with the skin. The only problem you come up with that is you can't do it with like fingers and things like that because you need to have this separation or obviously it'll just blend into the background. So if you make it darker, it's fine. And then later on, if you need to, you can just go back and erase some of the line work. I'm not sure if I'll need to do that, but if I do, then you'll see when I do and why I do it. Color in his toesies. I guess I can do this a little quicker with a bigger brush. Um, uh, should I keep the mouth? I'll call it a mouth in. Sometimes I like to keep this black, just so it has some separation. We'll see if I need to. Okay, so for the tongue, I'll deal with that in a little bit. Okay, so okay, so now I'm going to make another layer underneath the painted layer. So essentially, you have the layer with the lines and then under that I have the painted gray layer so under that I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to choose a bit of an off-white color you know what I'll choose it a little more off-white just for the heck of it and I'm going to make the color this in where his eyes are. Hopefully it's all colored in. This is why I would usually use a, an orange color, but that's fine. Erase. It doesn't really matter, but I don't want it to peek on the nose because eventually I'm going to make a layer. I'll just do it now. So I'm going to make a layer above that. I'm going to take pink, which is what color his nose is and I'm gonna color in his nose let me check my phone oh. all right and then I'm gonna take the color that is the back part of his mouth the inside of his mouth and we'll Color 
The reason why I'm kind of doing it messy is because on the same on that same layer I'm also going to do the color for his tongue so it's the same layer but it goes on top and this all I'll, I'll follow the line I'll, I'll color in the lines all right so that's his mouth and that's his tongue simple enough He also has um, the same pink from his nose, but I'll change it to like 50% opacity, and I color that right on his ear. Let me make sure I'm on the right layer. Yeah, so I do that right on the painted layer. I just color it right on his ear. Okay. Now for his markings, all right, so his markings, he has dark red around the eyes and kind of a, there's dark red here, and I forgot to got to alpha lock that. Okay, so kind of follow this line. Oops. I also forgot to raise the opacity back on that paintbrush. Alright, 0 for 2. Let's see if we can get it now. There it is. Okay. So that's how he is. He's kind of has a, a loop right here on his forehead. So sometimes I have to work that out and make sure that it looks good. Because his head's sort of at an angle. to the back. And sometimes sometimes it'll take you a while to figure out what markings you want on your character. But when I designed his markings, I really just looked at a slow loris. And an an actual slow loris has these markings not as prominent and obviously not as concise as these but that's the fun part when you're doing character design is you sort of um, you know you follow the actual if you're basing it off an animal then you can you can follow that animal but then you can take liberties to make it cute um, but it's nice to base it in reality if you can and as long as it works. Alright, All right, so that's a decent loop. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off alpha lock just so I can color in these little bits. Alpha lock again. Alright. And this is a little wonky. It's just not perfect. And I kind of like it when it... I like it to be perfect. Alright, that's a little better. Sorry, I got a little itch in my nose. 
not supposed to be touching my face. COVID quarantine. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna make it come out a little bit more. I'll just around his eye. Yeah, I think that looks better. Give him a little, just a little space between where the bridge goes up and where his markings start. Okay, so now you see I have black lines in this red. I'm gonna go back to my line layer. I'm gonna make this a little darker just so you can see it. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna color in these lines. And this one too. this line black like the little eye eyelash sort of I'm gonna leave that black because it just looks it just looks pretty good because you want to you like to you know you want to focus on the eyes and that really makes the eyes pop all right and I'm coloring in that back line too because this is all where this red is is being colored all right now I also have a darker color red and I'm going to go back to the paint layer and this darker red just goes kind of like where his eyelid is So, do the same thing over here. Color in that darker layer. Ah, something looks kind of off. some light on the eyelid. No. All right, we'll just leave it for now. Okay, so all right, he's looking pretty good so far. And his other markings, he has little brown patches. Let me check my phone. Okay, he is brown. circles on his knees all right so my phone shut off so I'm gonna have to go back a little bit and I'll show you what I did
Alright, so I think I was just finishing this. So, I did the same thing. I just made another brown spot there. His leg is kind of turned, so um, that's why there's only about half of this marking showing. And then, I did a little one for his arm, for his elbows. There's a little one there, just a slight coloration. And then what I did was I went in and I colored this line um, the same color as this. So I went to the alpha lock of all the lines, just the line layer, which is this layer. And I colored that in. And then, uh-oh. Yeah, so then I think I'm all caught, we're all caught up. Okay, so. Should I do his eyes first, or should I do... I'll do his eyes really quick. Alright, so. What I'm going to do for... Let me make sure I'm still recording here. Okay, I am. So what, what I'm going to do for his eyes is I'm going to erase that bit. I'm going to bring up the sketch again. I'm going to make the sketch a little bit lighter. I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, so right above uh, the, the layer where his where the eyeballs are, the white paint, I'm just going to make another layer. And his eyes are yellow. So I'm going to I'll do it over here. So basically, that's a little big. Might be a little small. Alright, so I'm going to do that. Make a yellow ball. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to make that black. And I'm going to shrink this one. So that's pretty much going to be his eye. So now I'm going to join these just so I can move them around. And I'm going to do free transform. You know what? I'm going to put this underneath. I'm going to bring the sketch up. And I'm going to So all I did was I bring the sketch up so I could see my color, so I could see my color underneath it. My colored little eyeball here. You know what? I'm gonna make the I'm gonna change the background color because I can't really see. All right, that's good. So. So I basically just need to manipulate this. Do I have free transform? Yeah. So I'm just using my sketch as a template. I'm just going to manipulate this till it's pretty much where the sketch is. Pretty simple. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright, now I'm going to bring up that black, and I'm going to manipulate that the same way. Alright, that looks pretty good for now. So I'm going to duplicate that whole thing and I'm going to bring it over here. Now the eyes are not, they're not going to be exactly the same so, but it's, it's 
it's just easier to just bring over that what I was working on over there just saves me from making all those circles and spheres and stuff again and for this one oops I hate when that happens Since that eye is a little, so that eye is facing us a little more, so it can be a little wider. And you can't really see, but I'm sort of squinting my eyes a little bit to kind of make sure that it works. Right, I'm going to take the whole thing now. And he's sort of, he's just, this eye sort of looks like he's looking over it, so I'm going to try to, <clears throat> uh, let's see, maybe, no, I'm not warp, maybe distort, let's see what distort does. I just want to get it so he's looking down. I'm going to try it with this one too. Alright, so now I'm going to get rid of the sketch layer. I'm going to bring the sketch layer back down. And I'm going to get rid of it. And then I'm just going to see how everything looks. I can br bring back that, that white, that eyeball layer. Alright, this looks... Hmm. Okay, do I want to put it there? Do I want to... That kind of looks good there. I feel like that's not... kind of looks nice there. Normally I would put it back here and kind of get that kind of get that 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 look that I'm sort of seeing over the side of this cone. The way that this the, the reason why it's so narrow is because it's turned. Um but it doesn't really look right. This one, yeah, that just looks wonky. Now, I don't, I don't kind of like that eye. So, what that tells me is that I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to bring this one forward because it looks right. think all right let's see here oh see I'm, I'm torn because I kind of like I kind of like that though. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to take this whole group and just skinny it up some. Looks kind of good. They're still not quite matching up though. So, 
First of all, I feel like they need to be a bit bigger. So I'm going to make that eye bigger. I'm going to make this eye big. Because they kind of have to match. See how like this eye is like kind of touching this part of his... Like the eyes have to be about the same size. It's not bad. It's looking a little better. sometimes I have to just keep working on it until it looks right you can kind of get that look better That looks a little better. I kind of like that. Hmm. I kind of feel like this wants to be. front of the eye. looks about right. Okay, still recording. Okay. Alright. It's kind of looking, oops, it's kind of looking better. Although I still feel like I want to skinny this up some. I really want to give it the impression Maybe it needs to be Maybe I need to skinny it up some more. Let's see what happens. That actually looks kinda nice. It actually looks kind of nice. That kind of works. I think I'm happy with that. Do I want to make it a little bigger or is it fine? Yeah, we'll make it a little bigger.
just going to make this a lot of problem solving. It's pretty much like all it is is just like problem solving, just like figuring out what doesn't look right, figuring out ways to fix it. All right, I'm pretty I'm very happy with that. If we add the sketch back, yeah, it looks like he's looks like he's looking at him. His, sort, his eyes are sort of curved in, so let me make sure that my my great still recording. Good. All right, so let me check my phone again. So now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead, sort of like I talked about in other videos, or in my last video with the eye. So I'm just going to, I'm going to get rid of every, I'm going to get rid of everything except for, oh, it's not going to work. All right, so these are going to be the eyes. Um, so essentially, I'm going to be coloring just this white bit. And I'm going to take the same color as that. I'm going to bring it down a little lower here. And I'm going to alpha lock this layer and I'm going to take a soft airbrush and I'm going to airbrush like that so that, that's essentially what I'm going to be doing kind of like it's a ball but I'm just gonna bring back all the other layers just so I can kind of see the contours of like where I have to Oops, put a little bit more or a little bit less. So you just kind of want to do it just like it's a ball. Spherical movements. Big loose movements. Now it's sort of messy. I just want the edges right under a little dark. I'll even make them a little darker. Now that's obviously too dark, but what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back to the original color, and I'm just going to lighten everything back up from the middle outwards. And I have very light, I'm not touching, I'm not putting a lot of pressure, just very light, and just bring it back. So to a, to a normal a normal looking gradient for a ball. There you go. That's pretty good. Even even keep a little bit of the shading down here, just so you can kind of make out that outline. All right. So that looks pretty good. I'm also going to I'm going to take a bright white, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that here. Kind of see what that does? It just kind of like, just gives it that spot, just kind of brings it, brings it out a little bit. Okay. So for these yellow bits, um, which one is this? Okay, that's that one, that's that one. I'm going to now, I know I have these separate, but I'm just going to bring them together because they don't really need to be separate anymore. Okay, so I'm going to join both the black iris bits. And 
and I'm going to join both the yellow color. Get rid of that. Okay, so now I'm going to alpha lock just the yellow. I'm going to go back to the yellow. I'm going to bring it all the way down here to a dark color. And I'm going to take, I think it's the marker brush. I renamed it. I, 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 when I edit brushes, I just rename them so I can remember what they are. So, But I'm pretty sure that's the marker brush. Uh, about, let's, let's try 35% opacity. That's pretty good. Maybe a little lower. 30% opacity. So essentially I'm just going to... Let me check my phone. Okay. So this is kind of cool. So the light... So if the light is coming this way, and so this is going to be, so I kind of make that curve there, so it sort of looks like, oh, it's a little too much, it's a little, it's a little dark. Let me make it a little lower. So what I do there is I kind of color in so it's almost like the light hits, but then it it's a shadow because this is like a depression where his eyeballs are because the it would be a depression here and then like the the gloss would come out more I'm not really explaining explaining that the best way possible but whoops hopefully it'll make sense the further I go along you know what maybe it just just needs something like that Alright, so we have that. Alright, so now I'm gonna go above I'm gonna go above the black and actually I'm gonna go right on the black and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take a regular a regular fat paintbrush. I'm gonna bring it down to 30. 30 is like the magic number. It usually works. I'm gonna bring it down to 30, and I'm gonna do a nice little arc right above. And that kind of acts like a shadow from all of this above his his eye. There you go. That kind of acts like a nice. See, it looks like a nice shadow, and it just kind of makes it pop. And that all goes hand in hand with, with why I put the white uh, soft brush there, and then this this makes it pop. So I'm going to make another layer above all this, and I'm going to go bright white. Same brush as I did that with. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just going to... Actually, I can probably go a little, go 35 maybe. If I want to go a little bit more, let's try a little bit more. All right. There you go. So you just do a little mark and see how that kind of gives it a nice gloss. And then I'm going to do another layer on top of that. I'm going to change that layer blend to add. And I'm going to go, I'm going to use my eye glare texture brush. And check my phone. Great, still recording. All right, so we're on the add layer, right above that. I'm gonna do a nice little, let me 
see here. So I do a nice little glare. They're kind of big, actually. So I do a nice little glare that comes in. They actually might not have to be that far back. Let's see. Oh, I have it on the wrong layer. Why did I do that? New layer, add. Okay. So yeah, this brush is eye, eye glare texture, but I think it's just, what brush is this? Might have to try different brushes. Um, you can do any, you can do like, different brushes. Um, you can do any, you can do like ink bleed. It's actually kind of cool. Um, but try out different brushes for different glares. But when you do the different brushes, so if you look really close, they each have like a texture. So if you do a if you do a very high, if you do a reflection or a highlight in that texture, it'll make it look like the surface of whatever you're whatever the highlight is on. I don't even think they need to be that big. I think they can be smaller. Okay, so something like that. Yeah, they don't really need to be that far, that far forward. I'm gonna take the gel pen. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on that layer and I'm gonna do just a regular hard airbrush and I'm gonna do some little pops of light do some back here as well Just to kind of give it a little bit of a little bit of life, and also another fun thing that I, I like to do is I like to take an airbrush, and right now I'm on the that back eyebrow, uh, eyeball layer, and I'm just going to brush in a little bit of like red. Just like for no reason, just to kind of give it a little bit of something. Alright, so that's the eye. Alright, so now we're going to move on to shadows. All right. Let me stop my recording. I'm trying to use a recorder, so my... I know I'm very soft-spoken, so I'm going to try to use this recorder. Hopefully this will work. We'll see.